Hey guys, what's up? M8Y Google here again with a build episode for the server. So, last episode, if you haven't already seen it, go watch it. It sh uh, should be on the channel if I uploaded it. But anyway, last episode we made this, just this alone, like this and the surrounding outside wall. And off camera, I decided to do this, which I think is quite nice. So what we're doing today is we are replicating each onto each corner that pattern so we have a full cylinder style thing to work on. And then from there we shall put on a roof with a pattern from the floor. And that is how we're going to do that. So I'll start off with this one. So I hope you all enjoyed the last episode. I enjoyed recording it. Because it was fun. So here we are with another one. So again, if you haven't watched the um, first episode, go watch it already. Or the second episode, I can't remember what, what one it is depending on if I put up the server floor one. If not, disregard, disregard what I just said. So, go watch the last episode to catch up on what we are doing here. Apart from that, um, another question. If you're wondering why my render distance is on so low, is because Recording with fraps, uh, for some reason, it mucks up my FPS so much that it's just easier to turn down the render on games so I can be able to record. So that's what I've done with this. But don't worry, soon I'll probably get something better, like a better computer to do this with. So hopefully. Hopefully, that will be better in the future and you'll be able to see all of the flat world and all of the cows about. So, this will be one side done and then we'll have to put on the pattern. So, for each side, I'm doing the two colours in the middle. So, this pattern is these two blocks at the bottom, these two blocks at the top. It goes down on each side like this. And then it goes back up here like that, and then it goes one out, I think. No, three out. Okay, two and three. So that's how that is going. And then we have green on this side. And then we have purple on the other. So that's our two sides, green and purple. That's obviously green. Okay, so next side to do would be here. like this yep and then we shall fill this with stone block so I hope you guys are enjoying this mini series that I will be doing it's just a basic how I build everything for the server I think I mentioned that in one of the previous videos but if I didn't there you go. So this, um, I didn't really explain it that much, I don't think, in the last episode. This is basically the point where when you first join the game, or our server, you will be confronted with this monstrosity. And you will be able to pick where in the world you would like to go and I've made it so it's close enough so on any render distance you're able to see the whole thing 
so I know some people don't have um, as good computers as others, obviously mine in particular and I, I have big problems seeing like these giant um, places, it's like a, one that was on recently they had a egg which you spawn inside and then there's a dragon on top and I was only able to see its thighs no one likes dragon thighs hmm. so this one if you spawn in you'll be able to see it straight away like you'll be able to see stuff like if I go down to here like so if you spawn in you'll just see this little room and then from in here you can instantly see what's going where and you won't have that much of a problem so this is more of like a world that everybody can handle than anything else so yeah and eventually I might end up getting the server actually running I know recently we've gone through a couple of bug testing things and each one's failed we've had to switch between what we're using each time this is purple uh, this side's red so um, I think my favorite one at the moment is this bit of software called yams which is really good it, it's short for yet another minecraft server so it sort of uses the main minecraft um, server jar but it also puts in a console which you can go to which opens up in your web browser which I find is very useful so you could have a, another computer on the side running a server while you are on your other computer playing minecraft which is always good so I find it would be good to have another computer if you're going to run a server because then you can dedicate which is a wonderful thing to do in servers so you take the server and you pretty much use up all of the power from one computer to run this server and through yams it links onto your main internet port and then obviously you can't go really on the internet at the time without it being a bit slow but you're able to go on minecraft on another computer or you can go on it on the one computer just not dedicate it as much because each computer like oh, each process on the computer uses a bit of your um, memory so if I open up my F3 menu you can see the used memory on mine which is currently fluctuating but that's how much is used up on mine and it gets up to a certain point and it drops back down because it's getting rid of the old thing but I have allocated 51% of memory to minecraft just to run it alone and it's not that bad to you can um, change it with certain things so there's a, a launcher called the magic launcher I think it is oh god didn't mean to say it yeah, with the magic launcher you'll be able to change it some pretty nifty stuff out there which is allowing you to do more so what are we at here we got the red side and the blue side this is the 3d side so red and blue and there we have it that's our main walls and then from there we want like a banner oh god we want a banner type thing so let's try this how does that look or should we go down one more hmm like that Yeah, I like that more actually. So each one will be like this. And then we shall use its equivalent in stained things. So, oh, wait, that's stained. Oh, no, we've got light blue here. So the 
this will go here which is more of purple actually and I found out something which is vaguely interesting each of the stained clays uses the base colour but it also uses the red clay that you get like the red hardened clay so it uses that and it mixes with the other colour so that's how they did it it's a just a mixture of those two colours so next up is the green let's use lime and I'm feeling it might be a better suggestion to do that out of a lighter blue possibly hmm that looks okay yeah I mean like this yeah it just suits it a bit more obviously I'll change the floor and the walls as well so let's do that let's change the wall the wall on the wall still with the cold not as bad now uh, it's later on in the day don't feel quite as bad there we go and next up is the purple clay so that is this after we do oh actually we could use the light purple there we go. So that is like that, like that, like this. And then this goes up two, this goes out here, and then the final spire point. Is this too close to that? I think this might actually be that. Is really the light blue? Well, I'll change it to this then. There we go. It's a very dark colour. Oh well. That might look good with some people's texture packs. And then finally, we have the red. I feel this has probably been a bit more of a productive episode. Obviously, we did build the outside before, but this seems a bit more productive. So we got red here, like this. There you go. So we got our. Actually, I don't like that red. It mixes too much. Let's go for pink. It's getting dark. Set the time back today. So there we have it. We have each one. So we got the blue, we got the red, we got the purple, and we got the green, which looks awful. I don't like the green that much. But we've got each one. So next up after is we are putting a ceiling on this place with this sort of pattern. Uh, mix with the pattern on the floor here and then once we are done with the ceiling we will then move on to the individual rooms but before that before I end this I would like to try out this with the doors so I've seen this done before and I quite liked it I liked how it was done yeah, I like that. It um, makes the door a bit less wide open so it compacts it. And then the purple door. Place, and place, and place, 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 place. And then we got the red door, finally. I think, yeah, that is the final door. 
So we way there we go, and I think that's about it. I do feel a bit like this should run across like here. Actually, yeah, yeah, we're having that run across. And then I think this will be it for the walls. And there we go. That's it for the um, main walls from right now. I think that'll be it. I think uh, let's try this. It's one more thing. Finish it off because I don't like seeing the bottom bit here. And done. This is the walls. Next up, or at least next time, is the floor and then the ceiling. And then on the next episode after that, we'll start on the rooms. So, thanks for watching, guys. I've been MHY Google with a episode of server building or whatever I call this. And thank you for being here. Remember to like, comment, rate, and if you haven't already, join the Zebra Herd today and subscribe. Bye, guys.